beautiful. I love that part. What is it? Is it a ship? No, it's the word Andor. That's how it starts. Brilliant. Riveting. Six years. Six years. Six years. Good evening, Joey. Welcome to my channel. As you know, I am a bigger Star Wars fan than you. And I've been watching Andor and quite enjoying it, actually. What a wonderful series. So I'm going to watch episode 11 now. Don't sell your daughter to the Davis Golden. I don't necessarily buy the whole there's not enough lightsabers and Jedi magic. I mean, that's like a, such a small percentage of the universe. Andor is based in reality. That's the great thing about it. So it's uh, a lot of people don't like that it's uh, got a good script and they don't like that it's got uh, acting and that it takes time to build. I mean, my thing is I'm an X-Wing fighter fan. Always needs to be more X-Wing fighters. That's right. One way out. One way out. No Deirdre that whole episode. But hey, that was pretty good. Andor's been very good. Acting's been great. Storyline's been good. It's the kind of Star Wars I've been kind of needing. The thing is, people have been criticizing that it's slow, they said. But I mean, you got to look at it in terms of production, in terms of budget, in terms of story. That you could have it down to six episodes that are more action-packed and spend the same budget making it. And then we'd only have five hours in the Star Wars universe. So what I like about shows like this is it's uh, they're spending the budget to make the show longer by having more dialogue so that we can spend more time in the Star Wars universe. That's how I see it, right? So, Your buddy can't fucking swim. Been probably the, Imperial Power <laughs> the thing is, shows like Andor, like, they're really good. Yes, the acting's been very great, and there's been specific sequences in the show that have been just mind-wowing. For example, Narkina 5, the whole time they're in the prison complex, I was just like, how awful. Why wouldn't she just take her pills? And who would have guessed that the most evil character in the whole galaxy was an abusive, narcissistic mother? I think Saw Gerrera is like one of my new favorite Star Wars characters. He's the only one with clarity of purpose. We finally get to see one of those super cool Star Destroyers, right on. Finally we get some spaceships shooting stuff! Excellent! That's all I needed was a little more of that. Spaceships, TIE Fighters. Well, that was a very nice episode. Now let's go to predictions. What do I think is going to happen next? I think Andor is going to join the Rebellion. And then uh, they're going to look for the Death Star plans. They're going to go to Scarif and steal the Death Star plans and actually communicate them to the Rebel Alliance, which is fighting a battle above. But then the Death Star is going to show up and kill everybody. So that's my prediction for Andor. Uh, I'm pretty good at this sort of stuff, you know, predicting what's going to happen next. So tune in, subscribe to my channel. I don't usually uh, give reviews, but I'm a huge Star Wars fan, and I thought maybe it's time to talk Star Wars a little more. Okay, bye now.